Hi hey Libra, welcome to your May bonus. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, this May bonus is intended to give you maybe some messages and guidance. Um, if some of your monthlies didn't resonate for you, then maybe something here will. This is my intention for these bonus readings. So please, please only take with you the messages that uh, resonate for you, that you feel are meant for you. Don't try to make it fit if it's not your reading, not your messages. So this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. And we'll see what we get here for you, Libra. So I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and healthy at this time. And this could be past, present, future. Um, you know, however it resonates for you, if it does at all. So let's see what we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, for the general collective. This is a general collective, not a private reading. If you would like a private reading, all that info is down below, as well as uh, a lot of other information. So feel free to check that out in the description box. And if you're new, check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to um, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. And you get about um, four to five readings a month. So in this bonus reading, we're going to take a little look at love, what's going on in the life of Libra, some advice guidance for you from the Guardian Angel Oracle, and then we'll clarify with Tarot here. So let's see what we have for Libra for this bonus reading. For Libra, please. Thank you so much. And love, and this is a new deck for me. This is the, um, wow, Power of Love Oracle by James Van Prague. So let's see. All right. What to ask first, but my cards are jumping already. What do we have for Libra in love for this bonus reading? Okay, we got one here. And we'll take the bottom of the deck. I'm going to pull the oracles first, and then we'll get into your Tarot to clarify all your messages for Libra for this bonus reading. Sun Moon Rising Venus, Jupiter, male or female, collective of Libra. What's going on in the life of Libra? Bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck always has important messages, I feel. So that's love. This is life. And let's see what the guardian angels have for advice for you. For Libra at this time, someone rising Venus, male or female, someone rising Venus or Jupiter, male or female, for the general collective. What is the advice or guidance for Libra? Thank you so much for the collective. Messages of advice or guidance for Libra from the Guardian Angels. That one in the bottom. All right. Let's see what we have for love. We have commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. So being very committed to love. And we have trust here. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. So trust and commitment. So I feel like we're trusting in someone and we're having a commitment here. So we'll know more when we get into the tarot. And then we have the Seven of Summer here. This is for the life portion. No more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. So this is a Seven of Cups energy of illusions, options, decisions, choices, daydreaming kind of energy. So needing to make a choice about something or having many options. And then we have Release here. Let go of the past and ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. So I do believe this is the, I think that's the tower, number 13. Or it could be death. I think it's death, actually. I think it's death. So that is about endings, you know, releasing something, letting it go, something ending, and then... Um, transitioning, transforming, moving on to a new beginning. So there may be a little confusion here about an ending or something ending, but there's a need here to just release, heal, transcend, transform, and move on. So we'll see what that, what that has to do. 
these this is your advice guidance so we have support here from Archangel Michael and we have inspiration so the blue border is Archangel Michael and the white border is I believe uh, let's see here to do Archangel Gabriel which is about clarity, insight, creativity, and wisdom. And Michael is, Archangel Michael is all about truth, clarity, protection, um, and that kind of energy. So, justice, power, taking your power back. So somebody around you may be uh, inspiration, or maybe you have been inspired by someone who's given you a lot of support to make uh, some sort of changes in your life. So let's see, let's clarify this energy for you, Libra. I'm not going to be uh, going over any signs. This is quick, clear, quick, direct to the point. So either you resonate or you don't. All right, and if you're new to my channel, I do all kind of readings on my channel. I do love, I do singles, I do general, I do spirit messages, and I do these bonus readings. So it's a little bit of everything for everyone. All right, so what is this trust and commitment about and love for Libra, please? Thank you so much. King of Cups, so definitely somebody here, king or queen, having a lot of love for somebody. What else? Hangman, something uh, in limbo here about a commitment or trusting to commit to somebody here who has a lot of love. So somebody may be taking a minute to think about a commitment that's being presented whether or not they could trust this, juggling around the uh, idea here with the Two of Pentacles energy, trying to find balance. Five of Wands, somebody could be conflicted internally or having competition. Page of Wands, so there's the good news coming in. Um, this is a new camera, so I'm a little off with getting the cards up. Okay, there we go. So page of offer, page of, page of offer. <laughs> it's like 10 o'clock at night. I'm tired, sorry. So page of wands. So this is a passion offer coming in. Uh, somebody could be conflicted here, trying to make a decision, weighing the pros and cons of a situation. So taking time to think about this offer, but someone definitely does have love for somebody and wants commitment, so a commitment may, may be being presented here, and someone's trying to figure out whether or not they either could trust the person, a trust in this commitment, in some way, shape, or form. So here's the tower. So this might have been a shock or a surprise. I'm not, I mean, we do have the five of wands there, which can be about, you know, arguments or conflict, but I'm not really getting, like, um, arguments or fights with like your person I'm getting like may maybe inner conflict uh, about accepting something that came in maybe somebody revealed to you how much they like you they want you know they want a commitment or they want to be your girlfriend your boyfriend and it's like a shock or a surprise so now we're like confused conflicted about this uh, news or this opportunity or something here so now we're trying to could have been someone you work with or something like that. So now trying to balance out what do I do here. So somebody wants a commitment and somebody doesn't know whether or not to trust what's being presented to them. Let's see what else. I think the card just flipped. No? Okay. I thought a card flipped. So let's see what else for love. So what's going to happen here for you, Libra? What's going to happen? Knight of Wands, so moving forward passionately. You know, maybe this person was an in-and-out player before. If it's uh, someone that maybe you were dating, and now all of a sudden they want commitment, and it's like a shock or a surprise. Yeah, because now we have the Nine of Cups, which could be a single energy. You know, happiness, joy. But this is wishes, dreams coming true. could be overindulgence. But then we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is like the total commitment card, marriage, uh, sharing of everything, the family dynamic, legacy of a family dynamic. So somebody who might have been in and out player and you didn't really see this going any further, all of a sudden now wants commitment, ten of pentacles with you, 
and now you're it could be you're like really shocked like really and trying to figure out whether or not you could trust them now could trust this offer Def somebody definitely wants commitment here i think uh they're done with their ways of being single overindulgent or playing around all right yeah oh my gosh we have a matching couple here the queen of cups so we got a king and queen so we got soulmate energy here so they're realizing now that uh they are they're the one for you you're the one for them wow definitely have love here between two all right i feel like you could trust them now um they definitely they may be wanting to get married in the future commitment committing uh in some way shape or form so what is this seven of summer and releasing so what are we releasing so we have temperance which is about peace, harmony, balance, uh, patient energy. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. So kind of analyzing, assessing, um, evaluating something here, evaluating. All right, so what else? Ooh, the devil, some sort of toxic energy. Toxic energy, it could be anything, addic addictions, obsessions, um, Yep, putting defenses up here. Ending something that was toxic. Could have been a work environment situation. Could have been a relationship. Something that was just not serving you anymore. Putting your guard up against that. Maybe felt a little confused at one time while you were assessing, evaluating. But again, you know, temperance is here for that divine balance, patience, peace, harmony here. Eight of Pentacles. So we're working on something here. So working on ourselves, working, just working in general. So we have seven and then the eight. So two sevens here. What else? Or well, Libra. Ten of wands. So yeah, releasing burdens that are no longer serving us. So that's an ending. So releases death is an ending. Ten of wands is an ending. Release and heavy burdens no longer serving you. Toxic energy no longer serving you. However that means for you, it could be anything, a person, place, thing, situation. Only, you know, assessing and analyzing. Now only working on and investing what is good for you, good for your soul. Putting blots up against those toxic energies that are no longer serving you. No, but it might have been confused for a time. You know, um, how do I do this going forward? But definitely letting go of energies no longer serving you here. All right, so better days are coming. More balance, peace, harmony. Be patient because we got patiently waiting, patience, blocking negative energy, and only putting your pentacles in investing in energy that is more suited for you. No more carrying the weight of everything else on your shoulders. No more of that. All right, so what is this? So we got support, inspiration for your guidance. So you could have somebody around you who's very supportive, communicative, who is very loving, peaceful um, kind of energy. It could be a child or somebody who is a young energy. This could be apologies or just, you know, loving communication between two, like terms of endearment uh, kind of energy. Yeah, I feel like, you know, some of you probably have been through some things, some challenges here, and now getting support uh, from friends, family, whatever here. Things getting better, going in the right direction with the Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny, Divine Timing. So definitely here, you know, reaching out. Could be you reaching out to near and dear friends, family, uh, help you through your struggles, lending support and inspiration, and just things getting better from then on. Instead of struggling through something alone. It's kind of your um, advice. King of Swords. Some of you, it could actually be legal counsel, advice, counseling, um, mentor, somebody uh, who's very wise. All right. Let's see. The Magician. So manifesting a new beginning here. All right. What else? Eight of Swords. So, feeling a little um, mentally trapped, confused, 
are bound to something, but I feel reaching out for support, because we do have support right here. So reaching out for support, someone who is a guiding light, who is an inspiration, um, could even be, you know, self-help books, uh, watching, you know, self-help, you know, people, things like that. But, you know, the King of Swords is about seeing things clearly, open, honest, truthful communication. Cutting away energy is no longer serving you. It's in my Divine Intervention, Divine Clarity card, King, Queen, or the Ace. So I feel like here I uh, definitely need support in some way, shape, or form, whether it's, you know, wise counsel, wise advisors, guidance, mentors, or, you know, people you know that are very um, wise to help you to get unstuck in a situation or just unstuck mentally and uh, not struggling alone and things definitely getting better. Okay, Libra, that was uh, your reading. I hope it resonated for you. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channels, to always, always shine your light.